All right, good morning. Welcome to my vlog for today. Well, it's not going to be really a vlog, but uh, we're definitely going to head out and do some street photography or shall I say boardwalk photography um, as I tend to coin it. Um, I don't live close to a city, so when I want to shoot people and interesting people, I got to kind of head to the boardwalk. But today I think I'm going to go somewhere different. Today I think I'm going to go down to Wildwood, New Jersey. Wildwood is a really, really old boardwalk town. Um, really cool buildings, a lot of nostalgic uh, kind of vibes down there. But uh, I'm going to bring along my trusty and uh, close friend, the Leica Q2. Um, you know, the Sony cameras are great. Um, they're just not street photography cameras for me. And that's not to say that you can't do street with them. I'm just so used to a rangefinder, and I wanna get back and shoot 28 again. Um, I'm gonna bring along the A6600, and that's what I'm vlogging on right now with the 11 millimeter. I'm also gonna bring the 20 millimeter lens as well, just to swap it in and out, and maybe get a couple shots with the 20 millimeter. Um, but I'm definitely gonna do primarily a lot of shooting with the, I don't know if that'll focus out, the Q2, um, love the Q2. Uh, right now, just uh, kind of finishing up some uh, edits here, actually not edits, but just downloading a wedding. Uh, so trying to get some work done uh, in Lightroom, downloading all these files from this recent wedding that I just shot, and then, uh, then we will head back over well, not back over, then we're gonna head down. It's about an hour away from me, and we're gonna shoot some uh, boardwalk shots. So come with me, let me know what you guys think. Later. All right, so here we go. We're gonna bring the Leica Q2. We're gonna bring this Sony VG, 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 I don't know what the acronym is for it. This Bluetooth controller for this camera here, the A6600. I'm gonna bring the 35 millimeter 1.4 G Master as uh, an alternative to this 11 millimeter that I have on the camera right now. And that's basically because that'll give me like about a 50 millimeter focal length to uh, get some shots. Um, I'm gonna work with the Peak Design strap today on my camera. Normally I use that for weddings. Uh, normally when I shoot the Q2, I usually just use a uh, Peak Design uh, leash, like a wrist leash or like a rope cord, but I'm gonna try this because I wanna have the camera higher up on my chest today. Uh, iPhone, and I'm gonna be bringing the Moment bag. I'm using this Moment bag. I haven't used it that much. I'm waiting for a different bag to come in. This bag's pretty good, but I don't like how stiff some of these pockets are and how stiff this opening is up top. Uh, a couple batteries in there for the, well, one ba one extra battery for the Leica Q2, and I got two extra batteries for the Sony, and I do have the little leash here in case I wanna put that on my A6600. Uh, and that's all I really have in the bag. Obviously, I'll be sticking my keys and my wallet in there, and we are off. We are gonna head down to Wildwood, New Jersey, and get some shots down there. Come with me. All right, guys, so here we are about an hour later. It takes me about an hour to drive down here, and we are in Wildwood, New Jersey. Awesome little boardwalk. Really old uh, town, a lot of great colors, uh, vintage vibe and everything like that. Um, right now I'm filming on the A6600 with the 11 millimeter, but we're gonna start off today shooting, start off. I'm gonna start off today shooting with the Leica Q2, 28 millimeters. And really I'm not looking for subject isolation. I'm not really looking for street portraits. I'm really just looking at capturing the overall scene. Trying to match the energy that you see up on the boardwalk, all the events that are happening. Um, and 28 is a great focal length for that. Later on, I'll probably switch to the A6600 and probably put on the 35 millimeter G Master. That will probably give me about a 50 millimeter focal length. And when that happens, I'll try to focus a little bit more on people and subject isolation. But, you know, it's always a good idea when you come up to, you know, an area like this where there's a lot of action to try to match the action with your photography. Don't hide in the corner. Don't be really, you know, um, inconspicuous about what you're doing because that will always stand out. And it kind of puts everybody kind of in a 
like alert so you know that you're taking photos and people start thinking that maybe you have bad intentions um, just be open and honest with what you're doing you're not doing anything wrong and just have a good time and just match the energy that you see and that would be my first tip for today not that this is a tips video this is more like a just vlogging with the a6600 why I capture some images with the Leica Q2 up in Wildwood um, kind of just going about my day the way I create content and again I'm a one-man show so you know sorry about the production value but I really got to stop and set up the camera to film myself and it's a whole thing all right let's go take some photos that's what you guys are here for right So here we are, we're up in the boardwalk using the Q2, just trying to get some warm-up shots, some establishing shots just of the area, the scenery. I'm not sure if this lens on top of the um, 11 millimeter, it's the KNF X Nano. I'm not sure if it's uh, giving me like that cross X pattern. I'm not gonna know until I grade it, but hopefully not. Um, it's not supposed to do that, but I definitely need an ND filter out here because even at running ND32, um, I'm still at like f11, which is fine for depth of field, but um, You know when I'm shooting this uh, S-log actually it's not even S-log. It's Cine 4 um, I think the base ISO is 200 so it's still kind of strong All right, let's get some more shots and then uh, start mixing it up. I'm starting to get warmed up It takes a few minutes to get warmed up
Okay, woo, it's bright out here. All right, so I just walked one length of the boardwalk with the uh, Leica Q2. I'm gonna switch up now. I'm gonna use the A6600 on the way back. The sun's not really facing the right way for me, but I'm gonna shoot the 35 G Master on the way back. Um, as you saw, I got a really cool uh, portrait of George at his vape shop. Uh, really cool dude, just kind of called me out and was like, yo, get my picture. And I was like, awesome, that was like a, a freebie, right? Uh, whenever you get somebody that's interested in what you're doing, there's always a way for you to match that energy and get a street portrait. So that's what I did. Spent some time with him, went to the shop, talked with him, got his email, his, his number sent him some photos later. And that's always a good thing to do too, too, right? I, I just did double twos. That's always a good thing to do as well. Um, you know, if you do make a connection on the street, you do shoot a portrait and you have a conversation with somebody, um, you know, offer maybe to send them the images or just, you know, tag them or whatever you need to do. Um, it just kind of gives back uh, the thing that they gave you. You know, they let you take uh, their likeness. So give them back a portrait. Um, all right, we're gonna walk the rest of the boards uh, this way and I'm gonna switch up and use the A6600 now. Okay, so finished up for the day. Uh, tried to shoot some clips with the A6600. Again, using that KNF X Nano neutral density filter, I had to crank all the way up to 32. Um, not sure if I'm gonna get that X pattern. If I do, I apologize. Maybe the whole thing would be scrapped. Um, I shot mostly with the Q2. Uh, I switched from the neck strap over to the uh, Peak Design Leash, which I always use. Um, I really enjoy that. Uh, so, why? Why did I switch? Um, I'll probably get more in depth in this when we get back to the studio and, I say studio, where I edit and uh, kind of talk to you uh, more in depth, but right here on the scene, on the spot. Um, the A6600 was great on the street, there's not a problem that way, um, but it's very loud. The shutter is very, very loud. Um, I switched over to the 35 millimeter G Master just to create some distance and it was still loud. And I could see when I was taking pictures, like people would recognize the shutter sound. They would hear it audible, you know, audible, audibly, and kind of direct their attention towards me. And I kind of stood out and I'm like, oh, this isn't really good. And I actually had one person be like, yo, don't point that camera at me. Uh, I wasn't even taking a picture of him, but you know, whatever, he got pissed off. That's gonna happen, no big deal. Uh, I didn't really have any files to delete because I didn't take a picture of him, but just he thought I was. Um, so it does draw attention because it, it is a hard crack on the 6600 as far as the shutter, but with the Leica Q2, that isn't a problem. Uh, the shutter is not a problem at all. So I'm gonna drive back home, see what kind of files I got. Again, I'm not, too excited about today's shoot. Uh, definitely have some stuff to experiment with, but um, I like shooting down here in the winter time. I like shooting when there isn't a lot of cars, a lot of the scenery that you could get that is uh, exciting and fascinating and intriguing happens to be some of this old signage and these old older buildings. And the problem is, is that um, they're all flooded with cars now in the parking lot. So it kind of pushes you up towards the boardwalk and that's all well and good, but it's just like any other boardwalk. Um, I could have saved myself an hour drive and just drove 20 minutes up the seaside and got the same kind of uh, content. But whatever, we're gonna head out of here. We're gonna start heading home. There is one spot that I wanna stop on the way home. It looked like an abandoned uh, building. I'm, I don't remember what it exactly is, but it just was all dilapidated and the paint's peeling off and that's kind of like my, that's my jam right there. I love that stuff. So I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna try to take a, uh, a couple photos of that. I'll throw it up here on a video too because I'll, I'll probably have some time and I think it's an abandoned lot so I'll have enough time to like set up. Alright, let's get going.